Well, good morning to you lovely ladies and gentlemen. Happy Friday to you. Steve Collins coming to you from beautiful, cloudy San Antonio, Texas. The second most powerful, passionate, purposeful coach and speaker in the world. I hope you guys are lit up, fired up, and excited. I'm sorry. Did you hear my car? My car just flew. I, uh, my apologies. Sometimes when I hit the gas, stuff like that happens. Today I want to talk to you about the concept that plagues the millennial generation. So if any of you guys know millennials, it would probably be a good day to consider sharing this with them or their mamas and daddies so that they can get a hold of this. Be, do, have, give. Zig Ziglar began an idea decades ago with the understanding that who you become is significantly more important than what you do or what you have. You must become before you can actually do or have. And after his passing, his son Tom added to Zig's be, do, have philosophy. And that was by adding the word give. Be, do, have, give. Who must I become to do the things that I am able to do and have the things I believe I can have and ultimately give from what I have walking in an abundance? Now, Zig said, you can have everything in life you want. You want a yacht? Great. You want a Lamborghini? Great. You want a jet? Great. He said, you can have everything in life you want if, and that was a condition, if you just help enough other people get what they want. So his understanding was it wasn't about just me, 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 me. It's about me becoming the very best I can be so that I can serve as many other people as possible. So when we talk about be, do, have, give, it's about becoming. I saw a cute meme yesterday on the internet and it showed two karate uh, companies next door to each other. One had a really long line in front of it and one had a very, uh, not a short line, there was nobody in the line. And the one with the really long line said, black belts sold here. Huge line. The next booth said, black belts earned here. And there was nobody in line. Be, do, have, give. Your promotion will rarely, if ever, be preceded by the painful process of powerful, passionate, and purposeful, precise, progressive, ongoing practice. You will not get where you are going without the painful process of powerful, passionate, and purposeful, progressive, progressive, continual, ongoing, Precise practice. You have got to work on your craft daily with a spirit of excellence and the heart of a warrior in order to become excellent in what it is that you do and how it is that you do it. And the reason I mention the word principled in that pattern is this. You are either practicing on principle or preference, meaning the days that you don't want to do it, you quit, you're practicing by preference. The days you don't want to do it, you do it anyway, you're practicing by principle. You see, a life of preference will never outpromote a life of principle because a principled person can be counted on. You can count on a principled person to do what they say they're going to do regardless of how they feel about it how tired they become, how weary they might be, how many failures or setbacks they may have experienced because they're living a life of principle, their intention is to constantly practice regardless of their feelings and emotions. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the people you want in your life. These are the friends you want to spend time with. These are the folks that will pull you to a place beyond your current state because they are practicing becoming comfortable with the continual, painful process of powerful, passionate, and purposeful, progressive, principled, precise practice. 
these videos, ladies and gentlemen, if you think I do videos a little bit better than the average guy, it's because I've been doing a daily video every single day for over two and a half years because I'm practicing my principled, precise, painful process of mastery in this subject. And my hope is that my commitment to those principles have made some of you have a better day than had we not spent this time together. You millennials will not be promoted to a place of any type of permanence if you haven't gone through the painful process of continuing to powerfully, passionately, and purposefully, progressively, with principle, go through precise practice. You will not do it. Oh, you may say, oh, well, I'm talented. You don't know, Steve Collins, I'm very talented. Good for you, Junior. Good for you, Junior. Your talent might open the door for you, but only your character, which comes from enduring the painful process, will allow you to stay in that room. Let me say that one more again for you guys that have a three-second attention span. Your talent may open the door for you, but it's only your character, which is forged in the furnace of affliction and failure, that will allow you to stay in the room. If you have not been forged in the furnace of affliction of failures and failures and failures and failures in which you have continued to get up, rise up and continue at it, you just won't have the staying power and the stamina to remain in that permanent place of promotion and you will be passed up by somebody who has. Are you looking for, hey, I, I get it millennial, trust me, I get it. I know how you've been raised. Uh, I know your surrogate mom, the you know electronic device that you can't live more than uh, two hours without, I, I get it. I, I know why you are the way you are. Hey, believe me, 99% of the free world wants to start a job making a hundred grand a year. E everybody wants to do that. Everybody also wants a six pack. Everybody wants to be in great shape. Everybody wants to have great health and great relationships with people. Everybody wants to be happy, everybody. But you see, you see little thumb sucker, it ain't gonna happen without you putting in the work. It's just ain't gonna happen. And you're gonna learn it the easy way by listening to gray-haired boys like me, or you're gonna learn the hard way by coming home every night to your mom and daddy's house and sucking your thumb and holding your blankie wondering why the world is, why the world is so unfair. Don't they see my talent? I mean, after all, I have fabulous hair. Oh my God, you know, and I graduated high school. Sorry, this world doesn't work that way. This world is what we call a meritocracy, my friends. Simply meaning that your promotion is typically based on your performance. Unless your mom and daddy own the company and they can afford to lose money hiring you so they don't have to worry about you. And that's a different story. That happens there now and then. I'm going to tell you right now. Unless you are prepared to continually deal with the painful process of powerfully, passionately, and purposefully progressively through principled, precise practice endure this painful process of growth, you will likely not only not have the promotion, but deep down inside, you ain't even gonna like yourself a whole lot because you gonna know you a sucker and you're gonna know you weak and you're gonna know you ain't got what it takes when it comes down to it. And all your fronting and all your faking and all your BS baloney of puffing your chest out, thinking you're all that in a bag of chips on social media. But when somebody looks a little bit deeper and takes a magnifying glass, they find out it's just a facade. Well then, ladies and gentlemen, let me just give you the, the real W-O-R-D for today. All hard work leads to a profit. All hard work leads to a profit. And you know what? Only you know if you're doing the hard work. Only you know if you're doing the hard work. Oh, what may be really hard for Steve Collins could be really easy for you. But see, I'm the one doing the hard work because it's hard for me. All hard work leads to a profit. That's a promise in your B-I-B-L-E. You wanna promote? You wanna be promoted? Do you wanna enjoy permanence in your promotion? Would you like to experience that life? Would you like to earn $100,000 a year? Beginning, well guess what? Become a person of value. Become a unique individual. Become a 2% of the population. Become a person who is willing to undergo the continual painful process of powerfully, passionately, and purposefully, purposefully, with principles, 
practice and practice and practice with precision what it is that you intend to become so that you can do what you need to do, ultimately have what you hope to have, so that at the end of the day, when you have it all, you have an opportunity to give back. You guys have a great weekend.